Hey guys, this is Tim from Twice Circled, and welcome to episode 35 of the official Mega Aquarium video blog. So today I'm going to be t talking to you guys about pipes. Uh, this is actually the second vlog I've done on pipes. Uh, the first one I did several months ago now, but I had a bit of a rethink and I've decided to uh, do things a little bit differently, going for a slightly more abstract look. Uh, but the the general... No, I should have redesigned the whole thing. Who am I kidding? Okay, so here's the way it works. Um, you guys, uh, the guys who will have been... The guys who've been watching this... Uh, vlog series for quite a long time we'll have seen these tanks a lot right these are the freestanding tanks that you start off with they are not the only freestanding tanks that will be in the game there'll be some cool lagoon tanks as well and ones with like molded edges with uh you know rocky bits and all that sort of stuff but these are the basic ones that you start with that are a lot like the sort of tanks that you get in an aquarium uh pet store um so uh, here's the normal way you use these tanks, right? You connect your filters directly to them. Um, I've added some nice hovers here to show when uh, when a filter is is uh, compatible with uh, with a tank and where you've got it in the right place. So this is the normal thing you do, right? And this is slightly new. Now before, what I had is this system of adjacency where a filter would automatically connect to a tank when you placed it down. Uh, but I'm kind of, you'll see why in a bit, that um, I've kind of generalized that system. And actually I think I've made it, it's overall it's going to be simpler. It just requires one more click to place stuff down, but it's it's consistent and I think that'll be good for the long run. Um, so you get this little, this little thing with a cute little uh, animation on it showing the direction of travel and this is basically saying this equipment is going to be giving its equipment powers to the thing that it attaches to so we click and now uh, whenever you hover over the equipment or the tank uh, it shows the connection um, and you can see that it's lending its thing now this is fine for now but if you have too many pieces of equipment in your aquarium uh, and I know I've been talking about this for many vlogs eventually uh, you will it will cause problems the guests will start complaining and it will lose you some sort of guest rating and um therefore you're going to need a solution for this now you won't need it at the beginning because you know you're just running a little kind of almost like amateur aquarium people don't mind they're not paying that much to get in but when you get to kind of you know a slightly larger aquarium they expect a certain level of professionalism and they expect your equipment to be hidden behind closed doors and this is how you're going to be able to do that so imagine that you have a little room right here and what we're going to do is you know maybe this is like your little storeroom where you keep your food um but also this is where you store your some of your equipment so we've got this new item here which is a pump okay this is actually originally going to be a heater but i'm currently using it as a pump this uh, this model so it's the hydrox v7 uh, v6 rather the v6 stands for range six so this okay if we go above you'll see it has a range of six squares okay and you can see that it will ho it will highlight any tanks that uh, come in range um, so we can put it here and the arrows are denoting uh, denoting uh, access points uh, so we put that here and then it highlights the tanks that are in range um, and so this is our only valid one it goes green when we hover over it click there we go um, so this is saying that this pump is connected now this currently has no filter power right because this is just a pump okay it doesn't actually have anything all it has is a range uh, in fact, it doesn't even show the range. There's meant to be a little symbol here. I forgot to put that on, which shows the range. It's meant to say range six, but uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, so what we do now is we can get one of our filters. You know, maybe we can go for one of these big filters, right? These big filters are even harder to put out in the... <laughs> my, my cat just jumped up on a banister. Uh, <laughs> that's what that noise was in the background, if you heard it. Uh, so these bigger filters are even harder to put in the the aquarium floor uh, but they're easy to put back here so we can place this one down here um, and as long as it's adjacent again you can see it's little it's squares um, we can click here and then it hovers again same system right it, it, it highlights to us whatever uh, pieces of equipment it can connect to pumps and tanks and we hover over this it goes green click okay you notice that this it's um, Filtration powers have jumped up to 25 because now this filter is passing its uh, power to this pump and then the pump is passing it on to the tank. Do you guys get it? Okay, so the pumps are kind of these intermediaries. What they do is they allow you to remotely uh, 
filter uh, a tank. Um, so this tank gets to sit there completely on its own. It looks really nice. Um, and originally what we had, if you saw the last vlog, was actually like little yellow pipes running along the floor, which just got in the way. It was just nasty. I actually just prefer this more abstract way of doing it. I'm still contemplating the idea of having a direct little connection between these two so you can actually see the connection um, that's more of an aesthetic touch than anything else I'll, I'll have a think about that I'm also tempted to keep it like this because it's very um, consistent and also it does give the possibility later if we wanted to to add to give range to uh, filters as well or equipment in general I always call them filters but there's going to be lots more different types of equipment um, and that would mean so you could have like a and a piece of equipment with an integrated pump which means that that it could have maybe a range of three or four so it's not as good as a as a pump on its own but it would still give you that flexibility to to do it from uh, behind a wall uh, it's, it's an idea i'm not sure if i'm going to do that but at least by leaving this system of having the little dark this line it means that actually you know this could actually be another square away if it had the range i'm not sure i think maybe i'll leave that to the modders i think probably i'll end up just having all of the equipment range one because it's consistent now here's the cool thing about this right so um there's two cool things i want to talk about number one is that it allows you um a lot more flexibility in the way you lay out your equipment and you can actually create these kind of cool modular systems you know so imagine let's move this along one okay and let's move this pump along here still in range right and then we this 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 little thing appears when it's not connected so you can click on that um and that that connects things up um but now we've got actually space this thing could be as long as you leave one space to access it in case it breaks down you could actually put stuff on three different sides of this thing so say we had uh, you know currently we just got these these basic integrated all-in-one filters which have mechanical and biological filtering but eventually there's going to be separate filters that do this and this is a lot like real aquariums they actually have a separate biological filtration unit to the mechanical filtration and they work in different ways and the way i'm going to do this in the game is that i'm going to make the ones that only do one thing more efficient so for their money they will have a higher power um but of course they take up more space and uh, they're a little bit harder to work with and they're also going to be really powerful so you're going to want to uh, connect them to big tanks or potentially multiple tanks. Um, so, But imagine that this thing is like a heater and a cooler. This is a completely separate type of equipment that we have. Um, you're going to need these uh, for your hot tanks and your cool tanks. Then you'll be able to connect this one too. All right. So you can have multiple pieces of equipment attached to a single pump. And then they all get passed through to your tank. You can see that this tank has now gained some additional filtration power. But obviously in our scenario, that I'm mean, theoretical scenario, this is a, a heater or a cooler. Um, so that's pretty cool. Now, um, the other cool thing about uh, this system is that the pumps are also how I'm going to allow for multi-tank systems. Okay, so again, this is something that happens very commonly in real aquariums. What you have is you have a really large set of filters and pumps and equipment and then you pass that water through multiple tanks now this allows you to consolidate so you're not having to to make sure like all these little pieces of equipment are running fine you can just look after the big pieces of equipment um uh, while also keeping your animals in separate tanks right so you, you keep the animals separate because they're in different tanks but the water is the same water um so that's the other th uh, thing that this particular uh, system I'm adding allows you to do. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to have different pumps. The larger the pump, uh, it will be able to connect to more than one tank. Okay, So this is your basic first pump. But larger pumps will have a higher range and it will also have a higher tank capacity. Uh, that's the number of tanks they can connect to. Um, so you know, imagine this is a larger one. We could drop this and you can connect it to this one and this one. So both of these are running just off these pieces of equipment. So for, for the kind of city builders out there, for the guys who like these kind of sim games with lots of potential for you know, designing your layouts and optimizing stuff, this is where I think you'll enjoy, uh, you'll get a, lot, a real kick out of the game. Um, and that's why I'm putting the system in there to, to allow for a greater complexity down the line. What's also cool about it is it's not uh, too complicated too early. So for the beginning of the game, like I've said, you still will just be connecting your filters directly to your tanks. It's only when you later, you, when later on you unlock the pump that all these additional complex systems, which are maybe more efficient, but a little bit more complicated and harder to lay out, uh, will become available. Final cool thing, I just got a YouTube comment 
uh, on actually one of my earlier vlogs, actually my last vlog about pipes, asking whether sumps will be possible. Uh, so those that don't know, a sump is basically a separate tank that uh, you don't have your actual animals in. It's a, it's a normally kept below or behind the tank, uh, your main display tank that is. Uh, but you can have things like uh, filters and stuff that actually likes to sit inside the tank. You can have those things in this separate back room tank doing their work, but then the, a pump connects the... Uh, the two water systems together so that you can basically keep your ugly equipment in the sump back in the back room um, but your display tank still gets all of the uh, good stuff from the uh, filtration systems etc so this this multi-tank systems uh, feature that I've just explained will allow you to actually do something very similar uh, it's completely up to you the way you arrange your your tanks you know you can uh, do it like this you could have like a one pump attached to two different tanks here or if you wanted to you could have a pump attached to one display tank and another pump in the back room that has all of your filters attached right and more than that so now imagine that this pump is connected to this tank and this tank right as long as the two tanks are connected all of the chemistry properties that's all of this filtery stuff and this like i said it's going to be expanded it's going to include heat and protein skimming and, and all sorts of stuff those things are all going to be shared um, and in addition to that, uh, this actually gives you flexibility because there are certain things that you place in your tank that can have, give you bonuses. So, for example, I think this is still in the game. Um, yeah, right. We've got these rocks. Okay, these are live rocks. So this live rock actually has a little bit of biological filtration power itself. So, say you place a load of rocks. Oh, my God. I've just realized <laughs> this is funny. Right, this isn't actually meant to be like this. This is how modular my programming is, okay? Because this thing is a, has this biological filtration thing, it's treating it like a like a pump, and so it's trying to get you con to connect it. So don't worry, this is just a little bug. I, what I need to do is just uh, s short circuit that and say, hey, if this is something that sits in the tank, it automatically connects to the tank it's on. But isn't that quite cool that like this is this is how robust my my system design is? That um, if you have a, a decoration that happens to also provide filtration it automatically asks you what you want to connect it to but anyway hopefully you get the idea so, so all these little arrows won't be there okay it won't be that messy the the rocks will just be assumed to be passing their filtration to the tank they're in now this isn't a very nice tank to look at it's just full of rocks um but it's now getting all that extra biological filtration power from those rocks so this is now essentially acting like a sump um, which I think is pretty cool. So I think all the aquarium uh, nerds out there will get a kick out of this. So that's how pumps work. I hope you guys agree that it's a, it's, it's a pretty elegant design, I think, in that it combines this remote filtration thing, which is going to be necessary to keep your guests happy, with the multi-tank system thing, uh, which keeps you nerds out there happy. <laughs> all right, that's it for this week. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.